Oh my God. As you can tell guys, my throat and the emotion was just too much last night. Um, apologies for not doing a video last night. I was in the pub watching it and literally I would say probably as Ben Rama's goal went in, sorry, Bowen's goal went in to, um, you know, complete an historical victory. Obviously filming at that point. And I was just trying to hold out the battery to get the trophy celebrations. Um, but yeah, it literally just died at that point. So I couldn't film a reaction. Listen, you would have had an absolute blubbering mess. I, it just come over me. People were asking me, you know, at work, like, what are you going to do? And I was like, you know, if we lose, I, I'll be absolutely devastated. If we win, obviously I'll be elated. But I can't honestly say to you what will happen. We, we've never experienced anything like that. Um, and it was just, I don't know, this just wave of relief and happiness and joy. Oh, it, I cannot describe it. I, I, I can't, that feeling is, you know, it's, it's, it's addictive. It, that, that feeling, I can understand, you know, why, you know, 40 odd years, I'm 38. I've never seen West Ham win anything. A playoff final 2012 is the best I've ever experienced. Um, and it just all come out, just relief and tears and happiness. I'm still getting choked up now watching clips of other channels and just the Declan Rice's interviews, Mark Noble's interviews. Honestly, that's, I've seen a few people say it and I, I, I have to agree, it is one of the best days of my life. Yesterday, it was one of the best days of my life. I wasn't going to go out either. I was going to watch it indoors. And then it was my wife. My wife said, no, go out. You know, go out. It's once in a lifetime. Go out and really, you know, enjoy it and ex enjoy that experience. And I, I'm so glad I did. The atmosphere in the pub last night was just, like, it, 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 incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about the game. Listen, it wasn't the best game in the world, but I said that. Didn't I in my preview? And most people said it in a final. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you play. It's all about getting over that line and getting that win. Moyes obviously did put Emerson in, which arguably was one of his best decisions he's ever made as a West Ham manager. I thought he was our best player last night. First half especially, you know, always a threat. Actually, he was really up for the game. Obviously, Aviola starting goal. Zuma and Agurd at the back. Um, went for so far up right back. We fought that. Rice Paquetta Socek, we knew that. Antonio Benrahma and the main man, Bowen. Um, first half was a bit itty, uh, nitty. You know, we weren't passing the ball nicely. We didn't pass the ball nicely at all, to be honest, the whole game. Um, we, had, we had an early chance. Antonio had the early chance, shot on target. They was huffing and puffing their team and they're, they're you know, the art, the dark arts and all that, you know, any little thing they was looking to get West Ham booked or get West Ham some sort of, you know, get into our heads a little bit. And we kept calm, you know, and this is what the experience of being in this competition, not this competition, but being in Europe for a couple of years and having international players that they know to keep their heads in that situation. And that's, you know, that comes with experience of being in tournaments like this, which is, you know, paid dividends. Um, they nearly went 1-0 up, uh, stroke of half-time. Uh, Luka Jovic, um, ball was played in, he headed it in low, um, and he was just offside, literally like half, it was like half his body was offside. Um, luckily, like I say, it didn't count, and at half-time, Moyes obviously got into him a little bit. We looked like we was a little bit, you know, ready to fight a bit more in that second half. We, we lifted our game a little bit. We still wasn't passing great. Um, the goal did come, um, got into the box and then uh, the Fiorentina player, I can't remember who it was to be honest with you, he, he punched it like that and the referee was looking at it for such a long time when he got called to the monitors, he's like what are you looking at, it's there, it's so obvious, luckily, not luckily, rightly, we got given the penalty and you know Mr Trusty himself, Benny, puts it in, he wasn't having a good game, he wasn't having a good game at all, uh, but he put it in. One new up, uh, scenes, absolute scenes, just ridiculous. But then we were sort of humbled a bit. Four minutes later, um, poor header. 
Um, you know, didn't really challenge the man. Fell to Bonaventura. Um, it was a good finish. Good finish. 1-1. Um, one, one. At that point, you're getting a bit nervous. You're getting a bit twitchy. Um, Fornell's come on. He had a little chance. Um, apart from that, though, it was a bit of a bit of an iffy game after that. You know, like I say, it wasn't a great game at all. But then the moment come. Lucas Paqueta, you know, the, the man of the moment. And I've always said it about these sort of players. They might give the ball away nine times out of ten. But that one that gets through, that one out of ten, because he's a forward-thinking player, that one out of ten gets through. That's the one. And he did it. It went through. Bowen timed his run with perfection. Um, just slotted it in and just... There's no better way of winning. 89th minute winner. You know there's no time left. We'll go into that in a minute. Um, just, oh, just I, I can't describe the emotion. It, it's, it's oh, I want more of it. And again, it might not ever come again, but I want some more. Um, yeah, and then obviously we had the seven or whatever it was, seven, eight minutes. When it was five minutes stoppage time, it went on and on and on. Some of the most painful minutes of football I've ever watched in my life. It was as if they wanted Fiorentina to score the referee. Luckily, they didn't. And it was just absolute jubilation. Absolute scenes. Um, seeing Rice and Mark lift the trophy together. Just romance. Like I said, I said it, didn't I? Walking the same route a couple of weeks ago. I said, when are West Ham going to have that moment? Why don't West Ham ever get that romance and get that chance to really enjoy it? And we did. We finally did. Uh, Skamaka was there as well. Great. Even Moyes, look, loads of credit to the man. Listen, we, we've slated him something rotten this year, but the man's delivered a trophy for West Ham, the first in my lifetime, um, the first in 40 odd years. Only Johnny Lyle and Ronnie Greenwood have done that at West Ham. Declan Rice joins Billy Bonds and Bobby Moore, illustrious names in that legacy. Um, Interesting interview afterwards from Dex as well. You know, when they asked him, he went, look, I've got two years left. Wait and see, wait and see. And then even Jules uh, from BT Sport went to him. Well, you know, um, if this is your last game, how, how is that the best way to go? And he just kept saying, wait and see, wait and see. Again, I don't think he will stay, but who knows? Honestly, who knows? Who knows? He loves the club, though. There's no there's no denying that. The, the man absolutely loves the club. And we love him. Um, and I think maybe I've been a bit, you know, slight denial with it in terms of, you know, going, oh, you know, when he goes, oh, I'm not going to be hurt. I think it's me being in denial a little bit. But, yeah, it, it's just, yeah. All them boys out there are legends. They're absolute legends. Every single one of them is a legend on that pitch. Uh, they go down in club history now. I don't care what Tottenham fans, Arsenal fans, any of these other clubs say that oh, West Ham celebrated like it's a major trophy. It's a European trophy at the end of the day. It gets you back into Europa Conference League. So, yeah. That's it for now, guys. I'm sure there'll be loads, loads more to talk about. There's the bus parade tonight. I sadly can't make it because we... Uh, Got to look after my daughter, which is absolutely gutting. But um, if you do go, guys, enjoy yourself. Until next time, come on your wines. Keep believing. Let's go.